What up, dogs? Beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's supposed to snow all day. We are hoping it would snow all night. Looks like it has snowed for much of the morning. But we'll take it. So this is the sport of alpine touring. Welcome deep into the Vermont State Forest. Located 15 minutes from our house, before the ski lifts open up for the day, you strap these things called skins, which have the consistency of a fuzzy shark skin, to the bottom of your skis, and then head on up even the steepest hills. See, variety is the spice of life when it comes to winter fitness in Vermont. The Colorado Rockies, these are not. My friend Ben, right here in front of me, he calls this skiing's version of mini golf. Bang out quick laps, set a nice tempo uphill, and then come racing back down again and again and again. Putt, putt, putt. Short, speedy laps. The forecast looked good. We were supposed to get like foot but we had about three inches on the ground up high and maybe six inches back at home. I would say it was something of an inversion and now it's time to go home and take on the rest of the day. But that ain't the worst thing in the world because now that means it's 8.30 in the morning, not quite, and now I got a lot of time to tackle the day. Strength and endurance in the form of shoveling snow. No time to change shoes. Sneaker on, ski boot on. Pretty righteous workout, but my heart rate's like 180. So, one of my dad's doctor friends who was taught of the old school, I told him that in a time trial, I'm doing over, burning over a thousand calories per hour, which you can measure through a power meter. He told me, that wasn't necessarily true because the number one way to burn calories was shoveling snow. It's kind of funny until you start shoveling snow and then you might actually kind of believe him. This feels like a time trial. I'm booking our flights, which is interesting because I haven't booked flights in Oh, well over a year. Uh, I was talking to a race promoter in South Carolina for an in upcoming van trip that we've got slated. GCN Plus just launched a video called The King and His Beers, uh, featuring Vermont bikes, beers. It was a really cool full-length feature. It was an hour-long video that, uh, that I shot with Regina Legg about my favorite three things right there. Getting some social media out. I am I am untapped, so I do all the communication. Uh, I got an email out this morning and work on some social media there. I'm juggling through a whole bunch of other stuff. I got some mechanical work to be working on shortly. Hazel is still awake. She's probably got another hour and 15 minutes of activity, <laughs> and then she'll go down for a nap. So we got some play time with Hazel, and then you got to really, really seize that hour and change of her sleeping. When she goes down for a nap, that means boom, go, get it done. That's right, folks. It's winter, it's cold and snowing outside. For the mere sake of efficiency, that means there is lots of Zwift on my car. And away we go. Here's the story. My friend and Zwift mentor, Kevin Bouchard Hall, rounded up a bunch of my friends from the tight-knit New England cycling scene and planted them on the Velocio racing team. Racing Zwift has never been my idea of fun. And from my experience, getting my teeth virtually kicked in sounds even worse. But with this group of guys on the team, we're constantly in contact. We're texting and razzing each other all throughout the week and then communicating over the Discord app in the races themselves. Team Cap'n, Kevin, for example, he just told me to go for this final race attack, 1.5 kilometers from the line. To use Zwift nuts out there, I'm user number 124, meaning I've been on Zwift for a very, very long time. In that time, I've never won a Zwift race. One thing I do enjoy is finding the really high intensity of racing, because I can push myself harder here than by training completely alone. This final attack was a minute and a half at 620 watts, for example. And it worked!
Again, here's that awesome camaraderie found from our Velocio team. Just please excuse the awkward heavy breathing. I already took a shower, so I can't have a shower beer, but celebratory Green Empire Brewing with a 10% stout as my recovery beverage. Might get a little loopy later this evening. Morning meeting. Uh, Laura got up around 4.45 and she went hiking for a Dawn Patrol snowshoe. I got a banana bread in the oven. And then I'm gonna go meet up with my buddy John and go ski traps, do some Nordic skiing at uh, the tender hour of 8 a.m. or so. We'll do a child handoff and onward we go about the day. years ago when I was 18 years old I came here and took my picture in front of that sign and said I want to go to school here and lo and behold there's the admissions office so some friendly people there let me into school and I went to college here and it was awesome and I got into cycling yay Howdy. Four hours, three minutes, 75 miles. Average 290 watts. So I was pushing a pretty good pace the whole time. Max 1111 because I'm not a sprinter. It's a big day. It's 1.30. Gonna uh, clean the bike off real quick and then get to work because the day has hardly started. What I love about living in Vermont is there is adventure literally right outside our back door. You can go for a hike or chuck on the snowshoes after a bigger storm and just tromp around the woods or trails or open fields. It's a full family activity. Just put hazel on your back and go. What you see here with my companion on my back is this sweet whole series of trails that we have built all throughout the winter. Walks with Hazel are building fat bike trail so that we can just roll straight out the backyard and go fat bike. For better or worse, it hasn't worked exceptionally well, but conveniently there's fat biking right on that hill over there. Yeah, that seemingly ingenious idea of building our own backyard fat bike trails worked really well last year where he linked up a pretty buttery two mile loop all throughout the backyard. But for whatever reason, the snowpack just wasn't good for backyard fat biking this winter. So I just head over to the Richmond Mountain Trails located about a half mile from the house and give it a go there. 
And that's the whole point here in Vermont. Heck, that's the whole point of this video. To embrace winter and the full four seasons means to stay diversified. Throw on the snowshoes or cross country skis, ride indoors or jam around on the fat bike outdoors. Heck, even ride the road bike because believe it or not, the roads dry up here really quickly after a snowstorm. Yeah, yeah, those wet roads you saw earlier were on the immediate heels of a storm. Look, I love riding a bike. I live for riding a bike. Indoors and outdoors, in cold weather and steamy hot, it's just such a cool experience to have so many options here. It's all the more exciting with Hazel along for the ride now too. This winter has been an incredible one, and now Laura and I are thrilled to have Hazel up walking around on two feet to take on summer 2021. Bring on that adventure. <laughs> You like your jammies? I like your jammies, little foxes. You're my little fox. Mwah. Yeah, yeah. Good day.